Hello, hello. Oh, not that video. Okay, so this video is going to show you how to use Illustrator uh, to recolorize a pattern. So um, I'm going to open up my Modern Fans Pattern PDF. I'm just going to drag it into Illustrator, or you can right, right click it and hit open Oop. with Illustrator. So if you don't have Illustrator, this is going to be really tricky because I'm using Illustrator. Okay, so I'm going to navigate. Scrappy's trying to get in. <laughs> Anytime I close a door, Scrappy just wants to get in. Come on, though. Come on. Okay. So now Scrappy's in the group. All right, so I'm going to navigate to page six. I'm just going to put page six here. Um, because page six is the illustration that I want to recolorize, so I hit OK. Uh, this just says to preserve appearance, things are going to get really funky. Um, basically, I created this illustration in Illustrator, and then I dumped it into InDesign, and this entire thing was built in InDesign. So what I'm doing, well, the programs weren't really meant to be used this way, but they can, so let's just do it. So I'm going to get my direct select tool. It's different than the, the select tool because that will select everything because everything right now is kind of grouped because it was created in a different program. Anyway, so I'm just going to direct select that. I'm going to cut it. So you can either right click and hit uh, cut, I think. I don't know. I'm just going to hit uh, command X because that's cut. Okay. I'm going to delete everything else. Select it with my, uh, my selector. Hit delete. And then I'm going to hit Command V, which is paste. And so now I have my selection. Okay, like I said, it would be cleaner if I just used the original artwork that was created in Illustrator and never brought into InDesign. Because right now I'm just kind of adding a bunch of weirdness. But that's not what I did. So in the original, if I were to select this shape right here, it would say it has this fill and then it would have an outline. But it outlined everything. So right now it's creating this as a different entity. You see that? It's all, it's a, it's, I mean, just be prepared. This is a little bit funky. Okay, so I don't want any of these strokes. I'm going to call them strokes because that is what they're called. So I'm going to go up to um, I select. You guys can't see that. I didn't um, record that part of the screen. But at the top of the screen, there's a tab called select. I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to hit same stroke color. And I'm just going to delete that. So now I have a prettier looking picture. So now I can start selecting things and changing the colors. So what I like to do is, okay, the, you can see the way I created this, is I made a bunch of lines and then I created a clipping mask uh, instead of dropping in a swatch of a striped fabric. So, okay, let's say, let's say I, I don't really know where to get started with my color palette. What I like to do sometimes is open up Pinterest. Let's say I really like, oh, I really like this. You can literally drag and drop that into Illustrator. I'm going to make you a little bit smaller. Put you over here. And I can use my eyedropper tool right here. And I can drop some of that color. So here are my swatches. Yep, I like that. You, new, I like that. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to add some colors that I know look good together. Guys, someone else put them together. <laughs> I made mean, they they got this color palette from this photo is how this was created. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete you. I have my colors. All right, I'm gonna select all this peach, and right now this peach is the second darkest fabric. So keeping that hierarchy in my mind. Uh oh, I kind of jumped ahead. So I, I was using the um, magic wand tool. Me. Okay, there it is, magic wand tool. So what that does is I click one color and it selects everything from that color. Okay, keep in mind if I click some things, like look at this, I selected that light gray and it was like, oh, you want 
all of the light gray in the entire thing. No, I don't want that. So you can hit this gray. We go back up to our select. Same fill color. And that gets me all of that gray. So while I have that gray selected, I'm just going to go ahead and make you a light pink. Uh, I'm going to get my magic wand. It's like that peach. going to go ahead and make you slightly darker pink. It's black. Let's make you the darkest pink. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is where it's going to get tricky, and not all of my patterns are going to have this clippy mask situation. All right, when I created... Hmm, what's the easiest way for me to do this for you guys? When I created this clippy, clippy mask, to create a clippy mask, I hit Command-7. So to unclip it, to free up the mask, I'm going to hit Option Command 7 at the same time. So Command Option 7, and that just separated that clipping mask. Okay, you. Hmm. So I'm going to select same stroke color. I'm going to delete all of you. Cool. But how about I just make sure that you're still a thing that I've did that just delete everything? I'm going to hit Command-2. That's going to lock that into place. There we go. That's going to help me select that easier. So anytime you want to lock a shape, it's like giving you trouble. It's moving around. I'm going to hit Command-Z, undo that. You can just lock it by hitting Command-2. You want to unlock it. We do the same thing we did when we were unlocking our clipping mask and we were freeing up our clipping mask. It's Command-Option-2. So that unlocked everything. Okay, but I, I want to lock it again because I want to select that. Okay, you, you, where's my colors? You, I want it to be a really light pink. Cool. And then you, I'm going to select same fill color. We're going to have you be that cream. Ugh, I don't know. This is just pretend. This is, oh, but look, this is locked. See that little, that guy? So I'm going to command option. Holding those down, hit two, unlocks it. So I'm gonna hit your cream now. You know, whatever, this is practice. Okay, you, you'll be, we'll have you be white. Here's my eyedropper, just so you guys can see some contrast. Okay, so maybe we love it, maybe we hate it, I don't know. Um, you can experiment, but let me show you that, um, that trick I was, I was kind of mentioning in my Instagram stories. So I'm gonna select everything, look at that. And up here is the recolor artwork button. Click that. And it brings up all of the colors I have selected. Let's see here. You can see this. So there's this button right here, randomly change color order. This is where things get exciting. Ooh, it just kind of randomly changes that color order, just like it says. So I can keep playing with it. Uh, if you like something, be sure you pause because there's no way to go back that I am aware. So um, here, that's what that entire dialog box looks like. So now let's say I like this, I hit OK. But let's say I want to keep experimenting. So I'm going to zoom out for just a second. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hold down Shift and then move all of this to keep it um, to scale because if you don't hold down shift everything gets a little bit nuts we don't want that so let's say I want to do this a couple more times because I'm still just like oh that pink pink isn't really doing anything oh I'm talking without saying what I'm doing okay so I have this I want to copy that's command C I want to paste that's command V so now let's just try this again and you know what let's say I do like this I don't want anything to get messed up I'm going to hit Command-2, and that's going to lock it. So I can try to select it as much as I want, but that's going to lock it in place. And the reason I'm doing that is because, let's say I really hate this bubblegum pink. I just can't handle it. Well, by using this magic wand tool, it is selecting everything in the uh, mock-up that I'm currently working on. Do you see that it's not selecting anything up here? Because it's locked, which is nice because... I kind of like it still. I want to keep it as an option, but I want to mess around with something new. So this is when I can just, you know, I can play. And, um, you know, I'm not going to dive into importing actual fabric swatches and creating them as swatches because I don't think, eh, I don't think you need that. 
but hopefully this is helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. It's really easy for me to create these videos um, so I can just, you know, create, uh, create more. So be sure you're not going to save over your modern fans pattern. So instead of doing a save, you want to do um, a save as. So that is command shift S. Oh wait, just kidding. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> Sometimes my computer is a little bit slow. So let's just, we're call, gonna call this, you know, mock-ups, mock-ups or whatever. Maybe I'll just save it to my desktop and that's where I'll, where I'll save everything. Um, so basically what we covered was importing the illustrations, um, we covered recolorizing. We co we covered this really cool recolor artwork tool, and also how easy it is again to just find any color palette you like online, and just to rip, drag and drop it right there. Very cool. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, hope that was helpful. All right, see ya.